Yeah, so I just uh, I quickly wanted to just share some of my thoughts on Chase Claypool. Now, uh, listen, I want Chase Claypool to have a good season. I want him to have a career season if he can. Uh, I want the best for the Bears and for this offense. I just I have a really rough time seeing it happen and, and how it's going to happen because, like, you know, one of my friends who's a Steelers fan, when I asked him about Chase Claypool, he said, you know, immediately when we drafted him, he went into the locker room and he was the number one wide receiver his first year. And yeah. it was, uh, you know, obvious. And, uh, <laughs> you know, hearing notes out of camp right now, that's what you're getting out of DJ Moore. It's like, whoa, this guy's obviously the num- a number one wide receiver. Sure. However, we never got that with Chase Claypool. He came here, he was kind of lost, didn't fit in. Um, you know, it just seems like he's kind of always behind the eight ball a little bit. Now, do you guys know what his nickname is? What do you got? It's one of the better nicknames in the league. You know, all these lame nicknames like initials and the number TB12, JF1 are all stupid. His nickname's Mapletron because he's got the measures, uh, measurables of Megatron, but he's from Canada. That is pretty good. <laughs> I like yeah, that. So call oh, like that. It's like, isn't that, uh, isn't Andrew Wiggins Canadian Jordan or some, or Air Canada or something like that? I'm pretty sure yeah. Andrew Wiggins had a play off of Jordan. Maple Jordan. Maple Jordan. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Kevin. There you Everything's go. Maple. Yeah, hey, yeah but, Maple. There it is. <laughs> but so for, for having that kind of size, that speed, he just doesn't seem to use his body well. Remember like when we drafted Adam Shaheen and he was the same size Ugh. and weight as Gronk? And everybody's like, oh, baby Gronk. And, and no, nah, he just didn't know how to use his body in that in that physical way, it kind of seems the same thing with Chase Claypool to me a little bit. A lot of body catches, he struggles. You know, when when corners are covered all against him, he's kind of more looking for the flag than looking to make the play. Like Brandon Marshall, when we had him here, he would still he would still get a hand on the ball. He would still, no matter what, flag or no flag or whatever, he's getting up in the air. And there's a certain physicality that I don't know. I, I just feel like Chase Claypool lacks. And so you know, I hope this arrow starts pointing up soon. Because to me, it's just kind of stayed flat, if not pointed down a little bit. And so, I, you know, I, I believe he's kind of a high-volume guy, too. He's going to need a lot of targets, I think, to get better. And I don't know if he's going to find them in this offense uh, with the way it's looking. So I, I just I don't know. I don't know how he's going to turn around. I hope he does, but I just don't see it happening. Yeah, thanks for the call, Paul. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Nice meeting you on Saturday as well, man. Yeah, you too. All right, there he is, Paul in Elmwood Park.